Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? Time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. Yeah. Yeah, we do this every single day. Monday through Friday, right before I run to work late again. We do it every single day, Saturdays and Sundays. It's usually early evening because I've got to have my couch potato time. Come on. Hard working man here. Today is Tuesday, July 26, 2016, and what you see in front of you is what I'm stuffing my pockets with as I run to work late. <laughs> I just took a bunch of pictures of this. I'm going to post them on Instagram, at Keith Kevin Ken. That's my Instagram. Come join the feed. Come join the feed. At Keith Kevin Ken, where I post a whole bunch of uh, uh picks, knives and stuff. Gonna be changing it up. Still doing a lot of knives and picks, just bringing some other stuff to it. So check out Instagram. I turned my iPhone six. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna post that around noonish or one-ish or two-ish. Sometimes when I get busy, three-ish, but it will be done. Let's just say noon. This video, however, will be posted 20 minutes after I get done. So at least you have the video. You could look at the picture later on this afternoon. It's Tuesday, July 26, 2016. Let's do this thing. My watch today, yeah, it's one of the regulars. It's my Mont Blanc uh, chronograph. The cigar. Man, I... I when I started smoking cigars in the 80s, I, I have to tell you, I love LaGoria, LaGloria, but they weren't Cuban, and I still love them. I finally got a hold of a couple of uh, several Cuban LaGlorias. Man, they were hard to find, but I really love this cigar. So, Kevin, you have, you know, seven of these. Why smoke one a day? I don't know about you guys. Everyone, I understand why Wednesday is hump day because it's the middle of the work week. But man, Tuesdays are tough for me. <laughs> I know you guys, I'm not whining. I am so fortunate. I get to buy a bunch of knives. I get to talk to you guys every day. I'm just having fun. I got a pocket full of man stuff and I really love it. Um, uh, and I'm doing my dream job. But Tuesday is when I realize, man, I'm in this for the long work week. You know, Monday you go, oh, it's Monday, whatever. Everyone's walking around saying it's Monday. Tuesday is when you know you're in it. Uh, this is a Shone pen, the titanium Shone design pen. Uh, Mont Blanc uh, thin wallet. What, 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 what? I'm doing some brandy today. I'm doing brandy because I have my wonderful La Gloria Cubana cigar and I just need something special to sip on. Yeah, I'm the flask man. I am. You know, I've been looking for different flasks and all that. It's hard for me to find a better flask than this. People ask me what the flash is and I, 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 the flask, where I got the flask, and I have to tell them about 20 years ago out of London, I went to this wonderful smoke shop, found this. It's nice, it's small, um, it's, it's covered in leather, it's just wonderful. I have it over 20 years, but I don't know the brand. I just don't, I'm sorry about that. Um, you can see the bottom, it has a big G. I've tried YouTube, I mean, uh, Google searches, etc. But if anyone knows, Put it in the comments. I'd love to know. And I know a lot of people who watch this would love to know which flask it is. The coin, let me give you a little shade. That's the Indian head coin uh, from 2001. In 2001, the U.S. Mint uh, released double coins. This is the proof. Then they have the regular coin. Uh, and it, it was a coin celebrating the Smithsonian Institute. And it looked like a buffalo head, uh, a buffalo nickel. Remember buffalo nickels? And so it's just a real nice thing. 
there's a lot of silver rounds that have that, but this is U.S. Mint coin. I'm a big fan of just stuff minted by the mints from around the world instead of uh, um, just the rounds. Yeah, today is going to be a carbon fiber day. I didn't go carbon fiber on a keychain because I wanted to do my surge with Chanko coin knife. Ah, that right there is my uh, coach pad. Yeah, it's a meeting day today. You can kind of tell when I'm in meeting mode uh, by <laughs> the writing stuff in my wallet pretty much. Yeah, I started talking about this. This is the Serge Vachenko coin knife. You know, I I carried the Serge collaboration with Spydeco on the dog tag knives. And I got so jazzed up. And I talked about how I missed out on some wonderful coin knives. On his Instagram, when he's done with some knives, he just offers them first come, first serve. And you go to his website. And, of course, I was broke when they came out. Ha! <laughs> And I was right on his Instagram when he announced them. I could have just gotten the three different versions. One had carbon fiber. One, I think, had Damascus. Another one, G10. It's just beautiful coins, and I didn't get them. I'd love to have that collection. Anyway, uh, I just like him. He's creative. I like this coin knife. Again, you can wear it around your neck. I use it as a keychain knife, and no one knows what it is. <laughs> they just think it's something great. They really do. Uh, just a nice medallion or something on my keychain. When people ask, they say, man, that's interesting. <laughs> that's an interesting keychain. The reason I always carry a keychain knife is my keychain is only a silver loop with three keys on it. People always talk about how can you stuff your uh, pockets with all that stuff. First of all, very happily, because I like it. I like having a bunch of stuff. It's just how I was grown up. The grown up men had a bunch of stuff in their pockets. Uh, and that's why I stuff them in. But the keychain, the other thing is real thin wallet. ID, one or two credit cards. Done. That's why I always call them thin. And the keychain... Just minimum keys, and that's it. All right, the medium knife, where this starts my carbon fiber love. Of course, the knife that got away that I started the morning with is not carbon fiber. This is, of course, the Spydeco Sage 1. This started off the Sage collection. The Sage knives are a collection from Spydeco. Right now, there are four of them. They all have this profile. Yeah, they all have the um, wonderful S30V steel. They all, all of them, have the, the satin uh, Spydeco leaf-shaped blade. They're all smooth as hell. I mean, they're just all so well built. They really are. Again, S30V steel is the blade. S30V steel. They all look just like this. Fit just perfect in your hand. Look at the choil. Remember my, I love the 50-50 choil. Half handle, half blade. Just wonderful. They all have the wire clip. All of them. Which is also great. And they all represent a different lock, knife lock. Um, so, for instance, this first one, and they all have different, not all of them, but they do have different scales. This one is the first Sage, came out with carbon fiber on top of G10 laminate. So it's carbon fiber, feels like carbon fiber, looks like carbon fiber on top of G10. But the important part is this represents the frame lock. You see that? The second uh, Sage, Sage 2, which is, I think, by far the most popular Sage 2, is all titanium. Same form factor, same clip, and it represents... 
uh, the Chris Reeve integral lock. It's a frame lock. The third one has the bolt action lock. And the fourth one, what does the fourth one have? It's the wooden one. Look at me walking around. I can't believe this. Yeah, I'm doing this live to tape. I'm walking over here. Let's see if I can. Let's see. Just took off my mic so I could. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this with you guys early in the morning. Let me put my mic. I hope that the sound wasn't that bad. I just opened up <laughs> my Pelican case. One of them that I'll open up for you <laughs> when we get. Ah, of course. <laughs> Sorry about that. That wasn't smooth, but I had blanked on it. <laughs> This is the fourth sage. The family of sages is, is, are a couple of knives that I'll open up for you once we hit a thousand subscribers. So, so, yeah, I did that whole thing off camera. Sorry about that, but I forgot. Can you believe it? I forgot the back lock. This is the fourth one with the wooden and the steel bolsters. They all have steel liners. This one represents the back lock. So, the first one that I just talked about, this represents the liner lock, Sage 1, Sage 2 is the Chris Reeve integral frame lock, 3 is the bolt lock, and this is 4 that I just grabbed off camera, and this represents the back lock. And as you can see, all of them have the same form fast. Uh, same form factor. The four choils, everything is exactly the same except for the scales and of course the lock. Spyderco announced a fifth sage, can't wait, can't wait, and that sage is actually going to be carbon fiber scales and it's going to represent Spyderco's own compression lock. You know the lock on the uh, paramilitary two and a number of other knives. Yeah, their own compression lock. Can't wait. It's supposed to happen this year in 2016, so can't wait when that comes out. Everyone's looking for Sage 5. So that's Sage 1 and Sage 4. I'm going with the Sage 1. And then I'm wrapping up my carbon fiber carry with this beauty. You know what I just realized? Well, let's talk about this beauty first. This is the uh, KnifeArt.com exclusive Chris Reeve, Sabenza 21, large Sabenza 21 with that in single blade. It's in single, in single in uh, Zulu, which is Chris Reeve's native language. He's from South Africa, is razor. And this in, sing, this in single blade is really making me feel good. I don't have a lot of Chris Reeve in single blades and the ones that I do, they're all large Sabenzas. And I've started looking at um, some small Sabenzas, including the small uh, knifeart.com carbon fiber Sabenza 21 within single. I need to get that. And of course, the plain Jane small with an in single blade. I don't have that one either. Gotta get the in singles. They're nice blades, they really are. Everyone always asks me to choose which one do I like the most. I always, I like them both and I'm fortunate or not enough, knock wood, unless I keep going late to work because I'm doing videos, <laughs> but knock wood that I'm fortunate enough to have a lot of both. But I'll tell you, I always go classic. So of course I'll go with the classic one, but I really love in singles, man. Whenever I pull out an in single blade, I just love it. Of course, the Chris Reeve carbon fiber uh, Sabenza that got, comes from knifeart.com. You can only get them new from there. They have the Sabenza 25, the large and small Sabenza 21 as well from there. Oh, it's just beautiful. One scale, all carbon fiber. And then the back with the lock, of course, it's titanium. S35 VN steel, 3.6 inch blade. Man, is that a beauty or what? They have their own special, oh man, bead. 
I love the blue accents. Man, this is just a beautiful night. And light! So light. Every Chris Reeve, the distribution that they have in their knives, whether it's full tie or it has some kind of inlaid um, uh, kind of wood or anything in it, they are just so balanced. But when you take off that front tie and replace it with that light space age material, carbon fiber, man, it's so light. That's a, that's a near perfect knife. I really love it. This and the Sage one, man, I'm blessed. Man, I just, that I love. Um, there you have it, folks. That's the carry. That's when I rambled because I forgot about the fourth Sage and that it was representing the backlock. <laughs> So these two carbon fibers, Sage One from Spydeco, and of course the Chris Reeve Large Sabenza 21, exclusive from Night, KnifeArt.com, the carbon fiber and single blade. Ah, oh, I love it. Sage Bachenko, man, I've got three of my favorite. <laughs> I only have this one uh, Serge Bachenko, only one. And of course, the three tags that he worked with Spyderco on. I want to get more surges. He doesn't create a whole bunch of stuff, and once he does, they go fast. So I just have to have a pocket full of money when he introduces them. And I just haven't been that lucky except for once. But I really love that. That, my friends, these three knives, that's going to be the carry. I'm going to stuff them in my pocket, can't wait, and run off to work. That's going to be on the Instagram post that I post around lunchtime. But you know what? This really ain't Instagram. No. Some people say I talk too much about Instagram. <laughs> and I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. Sometimes uh, me promoting stuff gives me a chance to think about what I'm going to talk about with the knife. So I, I'm sorry if it sounds like I do that way too much. I know that we have new people and they just don't know all the other social media stuff. All righty. This is what I played with all morning. Because once you get a Microtech, Ultratech in your hands, you need to play with it. <laughs> in 2015, Ultra uh, Microtech redesigned the Ultratech. It's still a wonderful double action out the front knife. It's one of their best sellers. But what they did was they redid the scales on this thing, the handle. They have what they call their tri-grip. I don't know if you can see that or not. Again, as I told you, I focus for the full table, so set focus. But they're little triangles, and they come off of the, and it gives you great, off the surface. They come up off the surface, and they give you great grip. That's the tri-grip. The tri-grip is brand new. They also changed the hardware. I should have brought out another Ultratech. They also uh, changed the hardware. The hardware is now triangle as well. See that? They changed the thumb <laughs> lever as well. That fires out the blade and brings it back. That's why it's called a double action. Yes, I'm wimpy. They also used on this, and they've used on a lot of new ones, you know, they always have a glass breaker. The earlier ones, the glass breaker is just pointy. That actually is why I don't carry, I have 12 uh, Microtech automatics and why I don't carry them a lot. Uh, I carry a couple of the smaller ones that I have, the perfect ones for EDC, and all of them have these new glass breakers. The older ones are just pointy. I stick myself at least six times. <laughs> So I end up putting an automatic sometimes in the sheath, which is stupid, Chris Reeve sheath. And, and I usually don't now, and I just end up with, you know, four punctures. What they've done is they put a ball bearing instead. Still can break glass, but it doesn't pinch you as much. Oh, I almost carried this, and then I thought, let's do carbon fiber. I just want to feel business-like because I have meetings going on. But this is the Ultratech. It is just a wonderful, wonderful knife. It's the dagger. I love that two-tone 
satin and then the blade is covered oh man dagger blade it's just a wonderful knife i love it i love it almost blacked out except for that little bit isn't that classy it is so classy that's the microtech ultratech with the new tri grip and all the triangular triangle hardware and the new firing pin which is really nice ah that's the knife that got away folks and you know what? I got to get away and go to work. This will be posted 20 minutes after I say goodbye. Thank you very much. Don't forget to thumb this up your thumbs. <laughs> Just keep me going every single morning. It really does. Even when I'm feeling down, I go, hey, these guys are waiting for a video. Let's get up and do it. And so I do it. And I enjoy it. By the time it ends, I really enjoy it. So thank you for that. Please thumb it up. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed, and a lot of you do that, just hit the subscribe button. Once we hit a thousand, <laughs> I'm going through the case I just opened up off camera to get the Sage 4 that has family of knives. The reason I open up that case, it has all my Sages. It has all of everything in there. Uh, it's a full pelican 1550 and you guys know if you saw my other pelican case videos i pack them in there and then i'm going to open up my 1600 case my biggest pelican case and that has all the classics uh and bigger big 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 um spydaco so it's going to be a spydaco palooza once we hit a thousand hey guys thanks a lot i really appreciate it man try to keep cool it's hot out there i know it is in the east coast i think it's all over the u.s try to keep cool out there all right definitely keep happy and keep those pockets full thanks you guys have a perfect day goodbye